Hello, uh, you guys have been asking about the Makeup Mirror Telescope concept a little bit and uh, I honestly haven't been thinking about that that much. It was last year when I made that last video and I haven't been touching this, this idea pretty much at all since then. Uh, why? Because I run into a few problems. It wasn't going it wasn't going to be as easy as I thought. Uh, there's at the time I had little moments I thought I could focus the fuel little bit. But it turns out I was seeing something completely different. Uh, yes, there's other size nice problems. There's glare and the mirror itself. This, I think it was this one I was using last time. I got this another one. It's a little bit less distorted, but it still doesn't fix the problems that I have with the telescope. Uh, I have drawn this little picture here. I hope you can see it. Uh, can you see it? I, I'm sure you can see it. Uh, ideally, this would be parabolic mirror and it would be focusing in this single point here. Mm, I think that's where the focus is. It's you normally normally you would point this in the sky at the sunny day, point it at the sun and put a piece of paper like this and you should see this cone, or in this case, you will see this blob of light in, in, in somewhere in here. Uh, I don't think this is parabolic because this is cheaply made uh, makeup mirror, and uh, this is basically round. So, when the Sunlight hits the edge of the mirror, it's going to focus in different point than when it's going to get more close at the middle. So you'd get more like uh, uh, different different color. Mm. I think uh, you'd get something like this out of this mirror, but the way I check, check this focusing is I pointed this flashlight at the mirror and approximately at the focusing point and you should see why I'm not seeing this uh, it's really faint, you probably cannot see it, but it's... Uh, it's impossible to see right now, but... Uh, I found out that, that it's about here, when the light at the edges... Uh, was focusing at somewhat straight line. So that that is my high, highly scientific approach method here. It's it not it's not so sunny anymore here in Finland. So uh, I cannot do this focusing test for you guys. But uh, trust me, it's it's about. You would get this same same effect if you point this mirror at the wall or something. You get this blob. It's you don't get this sharp picture. Uh, 
part of the problem is also that this has glass on this front side and that distorts the view a little bit. Let me show you. Mm. So, can you see this? Yeah, you can see this. So, when the light hits, hits the glass, it's going to bend it this way, and then it's going to hit the actual mirror, and then it's going to bounce back, and then it's going to uh, change its path once again when it exits the glass. And the angle that you are going to get out of this uh, mirror with glass, uh, yes, actually, uh, it's different if you had mirror without this glass, but uh, for our purposes it's not going to be a significant uh, distortion. The main problem is that this isn't parabolic. And why this is a problem? Well, it's like when you are going to try to focus this light with this 90 degree mirror and this magnifying glass. Only part of the light is going to actually hit this magnifying glass because there's distortion. It's going to wear off. So it's like I have cut this little circle out of paper and it's like you put piece of paper in the middle. You are not going to get any useful light out of this area. Actually it's much bigger if you are going to focus in one point. This unuseful area is going to be much larger. You can going to have narrow band of mirror that you are going to use, but that's not the worst of it. The unuseful light, if you are not going to cover it with this kind of paper or something, it's going to cause a glare. And I run into this problem just with the, this 90 degree mirror. The, when it, I cannot show you, you I try to make, make it focus on the camera, but it's pretty much impossible to get the same effect with. But if you have, have this this kind of small pocket mirror and magnifying glass, and you are going to operate in, well, if, if you are making a telescope, you are going to use it at night, so that is going to, isn't going to be a problem. But if you are going to use this like a binocular, but like a same glass, but what is binocular? Yes, but binoculars. And you are going to operate in sunlight. In the edge of this mirror, there's going to be clear, and when you are going to Focus, trying to focus on this, you have seen the glare and it's going to throw you off. There's so much... The glare, it's... It's not going to be a problem at night. But in any conditions when you are trying to make this work, you have to make this work. It's not going to be simple as, oh, I'm going to... Uh, this says 5, so it's going, the focus point is going to be somewhere around here, and if I'm going to be exact with this, uh, it's going to work. It's not going to be like that. You have to may understand the light very, very specifically, and you have to move these distances by hand, and may try to make it work. Actually, this is pretty uh, interesting.
interesting. Interesting. <coughs> the focus point is around here, but when I'm going to yes, I get the got it in focus right away. Uh, when you're going to look at the through the magnifying glass, you you do the thought that uh, you look it like that. But you cannot make it focus like this. Uh, you have to be this uh, this far away. You need uh, eyepiece like really well made that the people knew what they were doing. That focuses the light in your eye. This kind of Magnifying glass isn't going to cut it. Even though if you Google some images, they saw this simple magnifying glass and it's like, yeah, it's going to work. But it's, it's, not, it's not that simple. I, I don't think so. Um, I almost forgot. The, another thing about this big piece of useless space in the middle. The whole idea in the telescope isn't going to be zooming in the picture because if you are making a telescope you are going to look at distant stars and they are impossibly far away. Trying to zoom in isn't going to make the picture any, any more better in, in any way. In instead in telescopes you are trying to uh, get as much light in your eye as possible so that you can see the stars that are so dim that it's not possible to see with naked eye. That's the point of telescopes. Unless you are going to look something like moon, the moon or some other more near, nearby celestial objects like the nearby planets or where that spot is. <laughs> uh, 